Huh. EGS certified serious? Stay tuned for this next episode of Josh's Comics to find out how I managed to win a free EGS slab. What is going on, comic book community? Welcome back. As you just saw, yes, we're going to talk about it. I won a free EGS slab. I've known about them for a few months, and I'm going to tell you the story of how I won it and why I won it. But before I do, I'm going to let you guys know that we are currently at 285 subscribers. Thank you very much. So in, uh, in that big case, what I'm doing is a 300 subscriber giveaway. Once we hit 300 subscribers, I will make a giveaway video where most likely you'll have to just like, comment, and uh, be subscribed to the channel and then after like a week of views and comments I will pick the winner from that um, pool list and the winner one winner will receive four different books and that winner will receive not just part one but also part two of Guardians of the Galaxy Prelude the MCU versions along with a very nice uh, Walking Dead issue number 154. And I'm also going to be giving away a Planet Hawk. Uh, the Incredible Hawk, Planet Hawk, XL Part 3 or 4, issue number 94. Which is actually a, f uh, so a few first appearances, I believe. So, 300 subscribers. Guys, spread the word. Let everybody know. Once we hit 300 subscribers, like I said, I will be posting a giveaway video. And I will explain more in depth on the rules and how you can win. And one lucky winner. Free shipping in the U.S. If international, though, we would have to talk um, international... Uh, collectors would probably be responsible for shipping. Moving on, um, so let's talk about this book. Um, first of all, this is a timeless virgin variant from Alex Ross, as you saw, of Venom. Uh, amazing cover. Alex Ross is always on his game. So, EGS Comics uh, Grading .com. I'll tell you a little bit about EGS and how I know of them. Sorry about the glare. Let's, ooh. So, I follow a show every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time called Comic Book Canon. Comic Book Canon uh, is pretty much a show for comic fans. They talk about current news, such as the movies, the actual comics themselves. Then we have a couple of different segments. A good friend of the channel, Joe360 Comics, is now a official co-host, running co-host on the show. So they have a segment called Ask Joe, where you can ask Joe any kind of questions you want about collecting comics. Not even collecting comics, just any questions you have for him, he'll answer them. Then we move on to another segment called uh, Props or Flops. And now, during Props or Flops... I don't know if you guys can see, but we have a uh, visitor who's sitting across from me in the glare. That's my dog's 80. Um, props and flops is actually interesting. So you can, you know, say say you buy a $100 book for $0.50 cents at a used bookstore. Well, you can submit the book for props or flops. Um, and based on the current value, they will break down the value and let you know if they thought it was a prop or a flop. Um, I've entered it a few times, and it's always, always interesting to see. Everybody always brings some good books. And the last segment, which is the big segment to help win this book. This is how I won this book for free on Comic Book Canon. So, uh, it's called Fresh from the Comic Shop. Every week, from uh, Monday morning until, I think, 5 p.m. Sunday, you can submit an Instagram post of a book you recently picked up fresh from the comic shop. Even though it says the comic shop, it can be from eBay, it can be from whatnot, it could be from any store. It's fresh from your collection, so it's a newer book that you recently acquired. All they require is that you take a picture of the book, 
um, be innovating, you know, do some background stuff. Uh, we have a couple of people who regularly uh, on the community who do the Fresh from the Comic Book Shop, and uh, they do amazing, amazing just, um, submissions. And, you know, it's always a good time. Have a heartwarming story, too. And what happens is each week a winner gets picked. So, in two weeks, two winners get picked, they face off against each other, and then the two other winners for every other week face off. And then what happens is, those two winners that move on will face off, and whoever wins, and it gets voted on Instagram stories by the community, whoever wins gets whatever free slab it is for that month. Um, and EGS is, they've been around for about five years now, if I'm not mistaken. Not only that, but they do, as you can see, they do a lot of custom labels. Guys, definitely go check out their website. I'm definitely going to submit some more books. I haven't submitted yet, but I want to submit some books to them. This custom label is so sweet. And I'm going to take this out. And I also have a CGC slab next to me to compare. Um... EGS slabs, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull the, my recently acquired grill slab out. And you, I can immediately tell there's definitely more of a thickness um, weight to this. And that's not bad. I mean, I feel like I, fe I feel like when I'm holding them, I feel this is more, the EGS slab is more sturdier. And I like that. So, but let's, let's go ahead and I'm going to take this out. I love that cover, man. That is so amazing. I'm going to put that down for a minute. I also have a uh, certification in here. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, certification of Antifsy, uh Lethal, lethal uh, sorry, Venom Lethal Protector number two, issue number one. Uh, on this date, on 4-5-23, received a grade of 9.6. And I like... Okay, so this is actually interesting. The corner, corner scruff top and bottom left corner front cover, light spine stress front and back cover. So EG, EGC, if I'm not mistaken, sends this out with every book. It's been verified. They let you know why it's in what grade at the bottom. Certification. I like that. That's pretty cool. It be. I mean, I'm sure they have greater notes. I, I would imagine you could probably go online. Um, just like you can on CGC, but that's that's nice knowing that you get you get something in the back that immediately tells you why I got the grade it did certification. That's pretty cool. So yeah, let's get into the slab, and immediately like you can tell it's definitely different. But like I said, I, I feel like it feels. It feels better. The EGS lab, for some reason, feels better, in my my opinion. I, mean, I don't know why, but it just feels better. Um, so, you can definitely tell the difference. And you can see it right here where my index finger is, and across and towards the bottom. They have these, uh, I don't know how you would explain them, like pinpoint presses in there for um, the slab. I like that. It's definitely got a great look to it. Here, let me bring this layout. Let's hold that up there. I'm going to pull out the CGC slab. Again, nothing wrong with CGC. I mean, you know, number one place to go to. Um, but EGS, like I said, I've went on and I've looked at the custom labels and other books that have come back from them with custom labels and quite amazing so okay so yeah I'm gonna tell you like okay <laughs> let's move this out of the way so you can definitely feel the difference between the slams in the back of the CGC it has this like going down in, uh, EGS doesn't, but I'm okay with that, honestly, I really am, I mean, 
I, I like the feel to EGS slabs. I ain't gonna lie. I, I would... Uh, honestly, if CGC wanted to update it, I, I wouldn't mind them going for other protection or, or slabs. But honestly, if you look at them both... I mean, really, the CGC Universal Blue label, and it was recognized by everybody. But the EGS, I love the customized, like the customized labels they have, guys. I've seen some really great books on them, and I, I, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. It looks honestly like the EGS slab is maybe a hair shorter, kind of maybe. I don't know. If I'm looking at it right. Maybe, but other than that, I mean, I, like I said, I feel, I, I like the feel of the EGS slab a little bit better in my hands than I do the CGC, CGC slab. Which, don't get me wrong, CGC, you know, great, but EGS, I think, is definitely catching up there. Um, I don't know, the, I, I just, I like the way the slab feels. So, yeah, guys, oh, oh. So yeah, guys, uh, this is my little review on EGS. Um, I honestly, like I said, I mean, I, I like the way this thing feels. Um, you know, CGC, don't worry. I, I have submissions going to them. But I would like to eventually submit a few books to get uh, custom labels from EGS. And you guys should definitely go check them out. Like I said, I think it's a great... A great service. Um, they've done big, big books. They clean, they press, I believe, too, and everything. And like I said, Comic Book Canon, guys, check it out every Sunday night at 8 p.m. It's a great time. It's a great community. I have been following uh, Comic Book Canon for, well, since it's December of last year. Um, and I haven't missed a show, and I love them. And it's a fun time, and, and they do different uh, interactions. You have uh, Jeff, uh, who is just one of the original uh, co-hosts and founders of the canon, and he's amazing. Then you have Chris, who um, I don't, not only is he a co-founder too, and he's really into the props and flops and breaks everything down for you. He has his own channel you should go check out. And he does a lot of interesting stuff on his channel for the community. And it's just, it's really a, a, a great bringing point for the community. And knowing that not only, you know, we talk news and we hear about stuff, but you can submit books on Instagram. Just take a picture of a book in your collection, you know, um, make sure, you know, like a phenomenal picture and everything, good story behind it. And you could be like me and you could win a free slab, EGS slab every month. And I believe this year they said they're going to do the winners from every month. They're going to have like a big, big prize bracket for the first time. So it's like the winners of every month who got a slab will face off. And then I don't know what the prize will be. I guess it'll be an ultimate slab or multiples. Who knows? But that's a thing that's happening this year, I heard. And uh, yeah, I, I can't talk enough about Comic Book Canon. It's really great. So yeah, this is my little story on how I acquired the EGS slab. And honestly, I mean, I, I really like the quality of it. Like I said, I mean, CGC, I know that's that's the standard. Everybody recognizes that. Um, but EGS, I'm going to say, I really like the feel. There's more weight to it, and it feels just better in my hands, at least to me. Um, you know, CGC, don't get me wrong. CGC, like I've, I've said, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, go on them. Um, honestly though, I mean, EGS and the custom, custom labels, which I know CGC does do custom labels, but not to the extent of EGS. I mean, so the top up here, like the Venom and the picture up here is in purple. You can do different things, guys. You can get, you know, yellow, gold, you can get different colors. You can make it all different, interesting colors and different designs and logos actually on the label itself, you can do that. So, to me, I think that's a plus. And knowing that every book, if you're going to get a certification signed saying, you know, uh, when it was when it was uh, slabbed and what grade it's in and why, and knowing that you don't have to look up notes, but I'm assuming you could probably go ahead and... Um, 
go online and look at them. I, I think that's a win in my opinion. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Trying to drag it out too long. Uh, do me a favor. Why you guys are looking at that 300 subscriber giveaway, if you're new to the channel, feel free to uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, and please subscribe. I try to put out weekly content uh, here and there. At least I, I, I'm going. I'm going to definitely do uh, get back into army reviews. Um, the next month or so is gonna be a bit rocky because I got a schedule change at work. I'm going on vacation and I got some other things going on in life. I will at least be dropping a haul or a uh, top five or top ten videos on Mondays. Um, and then trying to get back into the Omniverse on Thursdays if I can. I wanted to drop this though because this is a great, great, great book to have in the collection and uh, a great story about how I acquired it. So yeah, guys, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Let's get to 300. And uh, I already have in mind. I will tell you this. I think once we hit 500 subscribers, I will not only be giving a few books away, I'll be giving away a slap. Probably not the two books you just saw, not this one or the DC Comics Presents, but I have a slab in mind that I'm probably going to give away, but that's the 500 uh, subscribers, so let's get there, and uh, yeah, until next time, guys, we will see you, oh, I forgot to say, until next time, stay safe, take care of each other, and now, I will say, we will see you in the next episode of Josh's Comics.